Hello, hello, it's Friday Night Live. Welcome, welcome. We're going to try this with me and see how this goes. Hello to everybody. Hello, hello. It's Friday Night Live! Excuse my shoulder for a minute. We're adding Wanda. Let's hope it adds her, because I have no idea what she was doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay. Hi. Hello. You're Hello. on the right. I'm on the right. Don't left forget. for lefties, right for righties. Yep. It even sounds better. I am so sorry, everyone, but thank you, Katie, for saving the day. Yeah. I hate to think this might be my new phone. <laughs> mm. That's not okay. You know, it's 5G. My other one was 4G, and it might be possible our area is just not 5G. Yet. Yeah. It says it is, but I, it kept saying LTE, but I'm on Wi-Fi. It shouldn't even be an issue. But anyways, we're just going to stop with all this chit-chat and get into this shoe. <laughs> Yes, please, because I'm like, if I have to run this tonight, I'm going <laughs> to cry because no cry. You, this was your plan. <laughs> okay, this lovely shoe. So here we are. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's give the... it a second. We have people trying to find it and get in. Do you want to hold oh, off yeah. a few minutes? Yes, for sure. Absolutely. There's only 18, and I think we were up to almost 40, so... If you guys are okay, please just hang out for a few minutes. I know it's late, but we'll go over the new foil Friday that I wasn't going to do before. But Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. So we have new sets. We have um, the new, they're not new, but they are the laser foils. Hang on, I'll grab a few of them to show you guys. I have them in all the colors of the rainbow. So they're these metallic foils, but these are the super easy wide release. So it's in, I think I have 11 colors, but there's um, 10 that I put into a set and I'm listing them singly also. So you can get them in the strips. And there's this cool tangerine color that I love so much. So far I'm getting comments. Look at this pretty tangerine color. Yay, we got comments. And then gold. There's every color. There's red. That red is really, really pretty. Hello, hello to everybody. Look Karen, Kimberly, Betty. And if you guys are still looking for something to do for St. Patty's Day, I got this cool pastel shamrock. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's That's total pretty. holographic. Isn't that pretty? I love that. There's a whole new Mother's Day spring set also, and it's these colors. Um, there's 10 in that too. And then we have some new animal print. There's snake skin and friends. What are they, Katie? You did all three of those. Um, I did snake skin and friends, cheetah and friends, and then fur and feather, or furry feathers Feather and or something like that. <laughs> so there's three new animal and feather prints <laughs> uh, sets those are sets yeah yay so that's the reason, a lot the reason we put friends is because it's kind of a mix of animals like the one has one feather foil and then some different kinds of animals and some of them have snake skin and other furry stuff so yeah, it's kind yeah. of, that's why I put and friends, because 
I was like, I didn't want to say snakeskin because there wasn't all just snakeskin. Right. Hello, Kathleen and Amy. <laughs> We're up to 38. We are, because mine says 18, so. Okay, cool. I was like, I didn't think we were going anywhere. Well, let's get started. Welcome, okay. everyone. We're going to be doing this lovely shoe. And tonight, I am on the right. Wanda's over here on the right side. And Miss Katie's the over there on the left. <laughs> I'm not having a very good stream. So if I shall drop off, please know that I'm trying to find my way back. <laughs> Do but, you have the stuff posted yet? Because I don't know if it was posted yet. What, in the store? Yes. The foil? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all but a few strips. Um, A few of the laser strips didn't get posted yet. I got all but, I don't know, like two, I think. So we're good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all there. Pretty sure. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on. Let me grab some stuff. Okay, so tonight I want to use um, top coat. I'll be using Gelixir. No wipe top coat. You don't have to have this brand, but a no wipe is important. Um, Beetle's top coat is really good. Um, I'm going to be using nail foil, and I'll also be using Burano nail foil glue with the Burano chrome powders pens and some watercolors so it's pretty much and some rhinestones so it's pretty much going to be that it's not going to be you know five million things but we are going to do a mixed media piece tonight and hopefully we can all make it work out hello so Teresa. Teresa, Teresa. miss katie oh there they yeah. are i couldn't remember where the gloves went <laughs> i found them <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so you're going to need your mask and some gloves if you're going to be doing uh, this with us because there's going to be a lot of glue here tonight. Let's start with the watercolor, though. Get that down, let it dry. So I'm going to be using uh, the neon palette. And if you don't have this, I am in the middle of making it. It will be coming out soon. You can use any color watercolors you want, but I'm just looking for this, like, lavender and blue color in here so i'm just going to use these two colors right here okay and i'm lost my spray bottle too i don't know where that is either so i'm just going to drop some color in here oops um and if you're using a watercolor brush it kind of you know it should have a tip pointy tip on it so just kind of touch the tip of your brush to the rock in the places where you want the watercolor. Can you guys see all this? Let me get down here a little more so you can see. And these are kind of a, a blended but loosely blended colors so you can just mix the colors kind of willy-nilly see how you just touch it like that and they pull together love that it's easy oops wrong place if that happens um, q-tip and it'll suck the water right up out of there just letting y'all know i'm on the left wanda's on the right <laughs> I'm over here tonight. So I'm just mixing these colors together a bit. And I'm being really uh, liquidy with the watercolor. That way I can let the other color drip into, be pulled into each other. You know what I mean? They pull together when you have a nice wet application.
Why do you make it look so easy? What do you mean? It's all uh -oh. perfect and everything, and I'm over here all blotchy looking. Just literally drip. You're just dripping. Well, blotchy is what we want. Look at the picture. Blotchy is good. It's very blotchy. See? Yeah. Yeah. That's totally what we're going for. Uh, you're off screen, Katie. They can't see you. Oh, uh, well, That's it's nothing thing. special. Just pay attention to Wanda. No, that looks good. I think you're not, wa you don't have enough water on your brush. It needs to be like, you see how wet mine is? In order for them to pull together like that anyways, if you want them to. I think it looks good. Mine's going, mine's going all over my rock, so <laughs> yours is doing good. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> that looks good, Kate. I'm just kind of going to go in the bigger spaces, too. See, it's really wet. Can you see how wet it is? See all the water on my brush? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it literally would just drip. But when you touch that into colors that you've already put there, see it pulls right in to the other colors? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Yvonne and Joanne. Now, why are you just peeking? <laughs> Okay, we're going up to the top now. I was, I just decided to come up here because I had a lot of color on my brush and I didn't want to waste it, you know. I'm, I'll probably go back and forth, but it's not for any particular reason. Oh, you're out to dinner with friends and you're on oh, <laughs> Facebook. That's awesome. Go eat. Enjoy Tell your friends. Your Hi, live from Texas. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We rate right up there, don't we? <laughs> Wait, I saw a question sneak by. Oh, asking why it's so wet. Hi, Susan. Um, because when you do, let me show you, I'll show you an example on a different rock really fast. So you can do wet on wet technique, which is where you start with just water. Okay. And then you grab color and you touch it to the water and the water sort of pulls the color. This works way better on like watercolor paper, but on Santorini's, it's kind of an okay technique. So we're kind of doing that, but we're using wet on wet. So I use, put the paint down, right? And then I'm just dropping color into the wet paint so that they pull together, kind of in a haphazard way. I don't want any kind of perfect look. You know what I mean? I just want them to kind of blend together and make their own sort of pattern. That's why we're doing it so wet. I'm concentrating, y'all. <laughs> You're doing good. And if you get it outside of your lines, just take 
clear water and pull it up. It's, it should come right up, the watercolor. Hey, Pam and Betty. Hey, thank you. I know I'm working. The neons are probably the hardest to make. Just they're a lot of mulling and work like it's five and six moles per color. And that's a lot of upper body. And <laughs> so. let me tell you, I watched her. She is not kidding. <laughs> takes takes a lot out of you. So I can only do one color every few days because literally my hands are numb for days after each mall so um but i promise they're coming and i'm i'm trying to make quite a few sets this time and i'm making them in half pans so they're going to be bigger and um i'm not going to charge more for the half pan either just i realize i don't make them very often so i'm gonna charge less for bigger sizes and hopefully they'll last a little bit longer i hope <laughs> I think I might be painting the wrong thing here. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. You see how it just pulls the color? I think my... My light is too bright again. Oh, look, they're better. Thanks, Phyllis. Hey, Donna. Uh, I keep looking over at mine instead of yours. I know. I'm like, gosh, that looks so cool. <laughs> and it's yours. <laughs> Phyllis wants to know what you use for the black outline. Um... I started up here with a Posca and then I moved for the rest of it with a Uni pin liner. And it is, this one is a 0.5. And I also used a 0.4. And there was a 0.3, but I broke the tip on it. So yeah, there's that.
I can't figure out what this is right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so right above the strap. Okay, I don't know. We're going to paint that. Their suggestions, anyways, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I missed the line or something right here. Yep. If you just, you know, just paint over it because we're going to do like um, all that chrome work in here. So if you can't figure it out, just paint right over it. It won't even matter. Yep, exactly. <laughs> No, no, I didn't. No. All of those pens that I used are water, they're waterproof when they dry. So, nope, I did not have to spray after lining, Phyllis. Thank you. Good question. Did you spray? Well, you didn't. You, <laughs> never mind. Okay. That was a silly question. Katie hasn't sprayed because she hasn't lined yet. I'm a paint first, then line person. Okay, and then there's this little bit under here. It's the underside of the shoe. So I'm just going to make a very sheer light blue color down there. And I'm going to just paint my keel part. I'm going to make it part of all the chrome, I think, instead of all the filigree stuff that's going on down there. Down here. Yeah. So instead of all of this, I'm just going to do it all chrome. Okay. And it looks like this straps are... I missed a line here. Yours looks so much better than mine. It'll look like, way different when you get, you know. Get it lined. Get found, yeah, when you know how it is before we get there. If you want to pull up some of the water that you have there, you can um, either wipe your brush off on a towel or grab another brush, get it wet, and dry it out if you don't want to blend the colors. And then you can pull up some of the water in places where you feel like it might be too dark or too pulled. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, see on here, there's a lot. I'm going to put a lot of water on here so we can see what I'm talking about. So there's a lot of water. So I just wiped my brush on the towel. I just wiped it. It's not dry. And then if I put my brush down here, see, it'll pull the water. See how it pulls the water and the color off the rock. So that helps to move things around a bit where you want them to go. And it'll give you that like scattered look like that's in the picture. Yeah. See there? It's kind of like the towel tech or the cloud technique, but without a paper towel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So think the cloud technique. Matter of fact, I think I need to pull some of the water out of my this part down here. So I'm not pull some of the water, but I need to pull some of the colors. So I'm gonna add some water. And then I'm going to pull some back out. So now I'm just wiping my brush off. If you're wondering where that is, right here. I just wipe it right next to my bowl. And then I'm going to draw some of that water up.
which will draw some of the color up. Excuse me. Excuse you. Um, what, no pickle fight tonight? Where's Mr. Pickle? You ate um, him, didn't you? I was running behind trying to get on, so. I know, me too. <laughs> All right, no Mr. Pickle. Well, I did kind of, I had her over here all day, so. Yeah, I was filling orders all day. Thank you. Okay, so up under here, there's like some of the purple too under the the curl. Uh huh. So I'm gonna put some in there. Yep. Too much blue. Um, who's asking about the glitter watercolor? Um, the glitter watercolor will work the same, but it does have texture to it because it's glitter. There's glitter in there. So you'll see little bits of glitter, but that would be very pretty. So. Like, let me grab some here and show you. This is from the eye candy set here. I'm just going to put it on here. Man, I love that color so much. <laughs> Making it really wet. And then I'll add some of the blue. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> what do you think it is? I didn't plug what? my phone in. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm back I had to business. go find a charger because mine was, like, not charging the phone. So then if you get too much color there, you can just pull it back out the same way. This is a long, tall shoe, man. <laughs> you see there with the glitter in it? Very pretty, I think. So this is watercolor um, without glitter, and this is with glitter. It's not dry yet, but. I can't use um, flash over here, so I'm trying to think of a way I could get a light in there, like a flash, but there's a shadow too. <laughs> See, oh, that's better. A bit, a little bit. Painful. Oh, the shoe. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. <laughs> so I know I'm going to be using, um, I think if I have one, do I have a red? Oh, I don't. I want to use a red chrome powder there. So I'm going to go grab a red powder real quick while Katie's finishing up there. Give me just a moment.
Not like I don't have a lot of chrome powder, huh, Katie? <laughs> Do I have one? I don't think I have one. Uh, you might have one in the Arteza chrome powder, the powder. Oh. The micas. I think that's out in the car. <laughs> uh, the whole big box? Yeah. No, that I have some in the house. Let me see what I have. Oh. I don't okay, know if I have a red. Ruby. I have chameleon red. Do ya? Is it real red? Cool. No, it's more of a coppery color, but... It would still be pretty. I mean, it doesn't have to be red. This one's not uh, red red either. It's coppery. Yeah. It's the thing. Red pigment is so hard to find. Like, I have so many reds up there that say red and they're orange or pink or serious. It's crazy. Like, look. This was the last red I bought because it said red. That is so not red. It is like melon. It pink. looks like melon. <laughs> It is, yeah, it's nowhere near red. It's, and it's even worse, like, when you watch this. Like, seriously, this is the color. It's like, the, <laughs> see that? Sheer pink, like, if that. Wow. Yeah, no red. Red's very, very hard to find. So let's see what I can do here with this ruby color. I'm doing the shoe. Ooh, Ruby looks pretty cool. It is kind of see. Look awesome. how not red that is, and that's Ruby. <laughs> that's this one. <laughs> so what I'll do? I made myself a red, and this is so cool, you guys. If uh, you can't find a good red for watercolor, you can make it out of chalk pastels. You know the pastels that you use to paint with. You can make your own paint. These are all chalk pastels that I've made into paint. And this red is red. This red don't play around. Takes a minute to activate because these were my very first watercolors. <laughs> it's a different recipe. Look at this. Red. Right? It's red. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so that's the red I'm going to use. Good night. Night, Cody. Recover quick, okay? Speedy recovery. So we're not going to be doing chrome powder on that top part. Yes, we are. Oh, so you're putting you color do... under it? Yeah. Yes, I am. So do I need to do that? If Not if you don't want to. I mean, that's totally up to you. If you have, like, a color that you'd be happy with doing chrome powder right there, you know what I mean? Do you have a color that you like? Chrome powder? Like no. the Verano has many different colors. I just was there's looking no at red. The... Yeah, there's there's no red. So there is this pink color. Or it's like a purple. Sort yes, of. we're on opposite sides because I had to start. 
in and I dropped it way down there. Okay, that would be pretty, this purpley one. Oh yeah? I think it would be. Mm -hmm. Are you, I can't see, oh, you turned it over, okay. I was like, I have no idea what is going on right now. <laughs> Looks so good, Katie, love it. See, that's red, what is that? That's my favorite color. Oh, that's my red? Yeah. Shit. Okay, shoot, that was shoot, I said, shoot. Uh-huh. <laughs> We heard sorry. it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the one I call <laughs> uh, Ruby Slippers. Yeah, that's, I forgot about that. It's the one from the Valentine's Day, right? Yep. Yay. And one of my favorites. Yay. What am I looking for? Oh, rhinestones. I'm just pulling those out to look at some, so I have them ready. And it doesn't have to be rhinestones. You guys can get creative with whatever you have, you know what I mean? Actually, I pulled out my builder gel because you could also make these. You know what, I'm gonna just show you how to do that. And we'll put a rhinestone here, there, and everywhere, too. But I'll show you how to make the the jewels with the builder gel. <laughs> Lyra, I got a tattletale. Thank you, Lyra. I love how you have my back. <laughs> Who I'm telling? You know, my, my son's friends watch these lives so i have to be careful sorry sonia's mom <laughs> but i'm human yeah it wasn't like the worst word you could say i know i said a ship in the night oh okay <laughs> That's okay, Amy. Posca's good. You can actually make Posca in the watercolor, pretty much. You can bleed them and then uh, yep. water them down. Works great. I used to do it before Wanda's beautiful, wonderful watercolors. Oh, thank you, Katie. So I'm actually going to, I forgot here. <laughs> I think... Uh, I gotta find the powder or is there a silver oh there is oh my gosh am i that lucky i just don't know if i want to paint it black the base because you know with um most chrome powders you want a black base yeah but since this is kind of a light silver color i'm thinking possibly the white might be okay or we could do a little light gray what do you think um, what are we going to use to color it? What do you mean? To color it in. You mean this? just do the chrome powder straight? Right. Well, that's what I was thinking because it's like the one I want to do is the, it's the, um, holographic silver. So it has color to it. I was just thinking this on one? white, it might be, you know, yeah, that one. On white, it might be the perfect color. See how it's got a lot of white in there? Yeah. Okay, we can try it. Or or we can do like a silver undertone here. Not like the high, high chrome silver, but like if I can grab it. The silver from eye candy. This one. Yeah, it's like a, chrome, a dark pewter color silver. Yeah, I think we yes. should do that first. Yeah, let's do that. And it has a little glitter in it, so... It'll give it a little texture, you know what I mean? Word. <laughs> Word, she says. God, love you.
You like how we figure it out on live, guys? <laughs> That's how we roll. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, Kathleen, I could never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen says, try it on your sample rock first. You know, that's about the wisest thing ever. And But I lose, you know, all common sense when it comes to <laughs> art. <laughs> You're right. Definitely always try it out on your sample rock first. But. Hi, Beck. Like Welcome. We got a first liver in the house. Yeah, what? First liver? What? Yeah. What? Bet first Peter, one. it's her first live here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, eye candy is sold out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't keep up. Oh my goodness. Right now, uh, the Crown Jewels are in stock heavily. And let's see, we have Crown Jewels. Uh, we have a few Katie's left. We have Unicorn Shimmer. And then very soon, we will have Neons. I think Chameleons, we might have a couple, but I'm not positive. And we're getting close to being sold out of the cards, too. So... I'm trying to help her though, y'all. So we're we're trying. I just had extra stuff built in the room too. My husband made extra. We have fifteen new drying stations, so we should be able to handle a few hundred more pans per day if I can. If I could just have that kind of energy, you know, <laughs> I need another paint maker. Thank you, Lori. Uh, the crown jewels are in there. Uh oh, are we having? I, I not promise I packed a whole bunch of them today. <laughs> you know what? Let me let me jump back because sometimes they go inactive when there's a lot going on in the shop. Let me just check the listing real quick. Etsy gets weirded out sometimes when they go flying out, you know. Holy wow, it says I have 23 things sold out. It's sold out? Hang on. No, all the chameleons are all the way across the board, all of them. But hang on, I can't find it. Oh, possibly it went inactive. That's what it did. Hang on, let me reactivate it. All right, there's 38 crown jewels in stock in the shop, ready to go. Hey, Wanda. Sorry. Yeah. What did you do up here for this little spot? Wait, what? Wait, uh-uh, camera. <laughs> this part right here, you just made it silver? Yeah, I just painted it all the way down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll add in that, you know, other business later. It ain't none of your business. <laughs> I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but don't you worry, guys.
these yeah. little cap the you little caps dot the little caps on top of the jewels you know the ones that hold kind of they hold the jewel yeah i did that part Can you move your camera down just a bit? Sorry. Yep. That's okay. I'm just trying to see where else you're doing silver. I'm going to use the black from yours also, Katie's palette, okay. the black. Okay. And just, I'm going to add a little bit of black into some places in here. Is that black or is that green? <laughs> That's the black, okay. I'm going to put a little down and around the corner edges, you know. This is the best watercolor you can get for beginners. <laughs> In my humble opinion. Hey, Mary, uh, Lori has if you go up in the comments just a few spots i think lori posted the link to my etsy shop where these are sold and um, you can get this and katie's favorite set is not these these are the neons but the ones we're using right at this moment the crown jewels are pretty awesome though I'm trying to move the light so you could see the dark that I'm putting in I know, in it's here. shiny. I can't see it <laughs> at all. Is that better? I'm just guessing. <laughs> okay. And then the back strap right down here. See the strap right here? Yeah. Black. It's a, dark, it's a darker color, yeah. And, like, there's a... a grayish part not too dark down around here like a that's too dark aren't y'all glad i did a black for my mm -hmm. favorite colors yes thank you <laughs> I never think of black watercolor, you know, that was pretty, that was pretty smart, smart thinking there, Miss Katie. I didn't even know if it was possible because I figured it would go gray, but it, it does kind of go grayish, but not too bad. Yeah, black is also another thing, unless you go pure oxide, which cracks up, you know, 
there's a lot of pewter silvers in all black watercolor unless they're oxide you know yeah and i'm still learning to deal with the oxides so Sorry, y'all. I'm a rock turner. So y'all are going to see me go at this different ways, but I'm le a lefty, so. No worries. Do you have a picture of the shoe? Yeah. I'm just basically going where. You see all these shadows on the shoe? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing the shadows and then throwing the silver or putting them on top of the silver because when we put the chrome powder on at least maybe they'll show through a bit you know what i mean yeah 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 oops <laughs> thank you whoever that was can't fix that notifications are on every time you guys give me love in my shop it tells me it goes cha-ching Thank you, thank you. We need to have a big bell rings, huh? You know, like <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yep. For the chrome powder, we're using top coat, right? Yeah. Okay. That answers that, Joan. Wait, somebody said me. Me too, Katie? I don't know. Me, yeah. Me too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Katie's like, yeah, man. Ex absolutely. I that's hilarious. <laughs> you want to handle the what is chrome powder? Sure. It's basically mica pigment powder. Um Hang on just a second. Because I would be like, you know, it's this stuff that's like powdery <laughs> and shiny. Okay. So it's pigment powder. Um, basically, when they call it chrome, it's because it shines. Like it's a high chrome. So it's like um, metallic is chrome powder. But the chrome powder we're going to be using tonight is by Burano. And these are holographic chrome powders. You cannot see it here, but you will be able to see it on, on the rock. And it will be, it's going to blow your mind how there, it's basically going to look like, hang on just a second. This is a foil, but it's going to look like that. I know you're thinking, no way, but yeah, it's going to. Way. Yeah. Way. If y'all hear snoring, I'm sorry, that's my husband. He had dialysis um, today, so he is out like a light. Hugs, Jeremy. Yep, I'm a lefty, Amy. 
through and through and through. And I drive Wanda crazy. <laughs> I'm not going there. Because <laughs> I do everything left-handed and she's like, that looks weird. Well, it feels so weird because I'm I am so disablingly right-handed. And then she comes over and, you know, I leave the office mainly set up for Katie because, honest to goodness, she does in two hours what takes me four days. I don't know how, but so, you know, <laughs> she just does it fast. So it's all set up for a lefty in here. That's why I'm always asking where everything is. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Katie, <laughs> where did we put this? <laughs> Where does it live now? The chrome powder we're using tonight is Vibrano, and it's in these cool little sticks. So the cool thing about these is it's already on the stick, and you can just, like, rub it on there. See, the stuff's inside. It's not, like, just... Because otherwise you're going to be dealing with a powder in a container like this, and that's much more difficult. So, but it's limited colors on what Verano has. This is basically what you get. Um, I have Jelixer because of Wanda said, so. <laughs> I don't know best. Top coat is, to me, top coat is top coat. But you want to know the honest to goodness true reason why I use that one is because it's one of the only ones that will sell me a huge bottle okay so uv top coat honestly i don't prefer one over the other they're all pretty much the same to me but i don't use them for my nails either so i'm not particularly picky about it you feel me i feel you girl i feel you <laughs> i'm just adding in some some shading right here in into this business yeah i did i did that too oh but i didn't go all the way up katie we're so good so good we're not you know we're not we're just not yes it does cure nice doesn't it <laughs> Are we doing all of this silver, too, in the front what? of the shoe? Yeah. Yep, everywhere where those details are is going to all be chrome. I didn't think at first that this was going to be more on the advanced side, but this kind of is on the advanced end of things. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just a lot of painting, you know? I don't... I'm trying to keep it pretty on the easy side of advanced, maybe. Yeah. It's just... um you know there's delicate spots but i got rid of all of those filigree things and we don't have to do those i uh i am still fairly new to watercolor if you ask wanda um i was not a watercolor person i was all acrylic and then when she started making these colors and i started realizing what you could do with them it totally changed my whole perspective so I'm still fairly new at this whole watercolor thing and learning how much water to use or not use or that kind of deal. You know, it's it's learning a new medium and I buy in I am in no way a watercolor artist. I know that's crazy cuz I love to make watercolors. You're pretty dang good. But um you know, I'm still, like I said, fourth grade coloring book. <laughs> That's my art. This is a coloring no, page. You know? I think I think you've graduated, girl. Whatever. <laughs> I 
You done graduated. <laughs> Jackie, I'm concentrating so much I forgot my wine. <laughs> oh no, honey. <laughs> That's a whole Take a drink. For me. That's a whole lot of concentrating. I love it when y'all paint with us. It's so cool mm -hmm. to get off from the live and just see all these pictures popping up. And it's like, y'all did freaking amazing. Uh, I just totally painted in my... And I'm still working. I'm still working on my Hamza, y'all. I still haven't finished. That's why y'all haven't seen it pop up. So I'm super excited, y'all. Okay. Guess where I'm going tomorrow? Yeah. Where are you going? I am driving, which going? is a lot for me to be driving up to Austin, <laughs> but it's actually way on the other side of Austin, like in Cedar Park. Um, there's a big, huge place called H Mart, and they have every kind of age, Asian ingredient you could possibly think of available so oh. i'm gonna be picking me up some goods yum where's where's mida she'll she would know exactly <laughs> I, I don't know if she's still on i, I saw her earlier because i didn't start you can't see your comments i can see comments but i can't see who's on oh I can't see a darn thing without putting my hand up. Yeah, that's how it is for me. Yeah, that's how it is usually for me. I But it's easier to see with me being on this side. Because <laughs> now the comments are in your screen. <laughs> I know. Now you know why my hand's always up there. <laughs> Lonnie's here. Yay. Hi, Lonnie. Yeah, I can't see. The writing's in white, of all things, right? So when you have a white rock, you can't see anything. Yep. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but I promise it's going to come together, you guys. A hot mess express. <laughs>
Hi, Patty. These are pretty tall rocks. They were donated to us by Miss Shelley Clark Sizemore. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. We got a box of love from her yesterday. It's a big old box of Santorini's for the lives. Such an awesome donation. Thank you, Shelly. All right, I think I'm ready for some chrome powder. Not saying I'm all done with the watercolor, but for this minute. <laughs> or should I do the gems first? Yeah, let's do this first since they're a red color. I don't want to get that in the, you know. Do you have any builder gel, Katie? Um, well, I have lots of builder gel. Oh, which one yeah. do you want? <laughs> I think the one I'm going to use tonight is the Yushinin. Yushinin, this one. Okay, let me look. This one? Yeah. Yeah. The, do you have the top for it? Is it this one or this yeah. one? Yeah, this one. Because I have two tops here. Oh, wait. Maybe that's the lid. Oh, ah, that's the lid. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't so, mind me. Gosh. Okay, I'm fired. Just fire me now. Why? I said it again. You said the S word? Again. I'm fired. I'm so fired. Oh, shoot. So, that's how you were going to say it again. I said shoot. <laughs> I almost knocked over my water bin. <laughs> okay, now where'd my want things go? Oh, oh, there they are. Okay. So, Sorry, Hope. <laughs> we had to, I had to start tonight because Wanda started and wasn't having good luck. So, yeah, I'm over here on the right. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this in my dish. You could just squeeze it off onto your rock, but that's scary to me. <laughs> Hold on, I got to get this dilly whopper off the top of this bottle. Ooh, dilly whopper. If you don't know what builder gel is, it's the thick, see how thick that is? It's the thick gel that they use to make nails nowadays. It used to be uh, acrylic was always what you used on a nail. Now they use builder builder gel. It's just a thick UV gel. I thought you were going to say, if y'all want to know what a dilly whopper is. <laughs> <laughs> just look in the in look in the dictionary and there's Katie's picture. It says, just call Katie. <laughs> Yes, Luz, I am working on some Easter colors. I have um, one, two, three, four colors, plus there's going to be two glitters. Ooh, it's going to be so cool. And I'll give you a hint, hint, pastel. Hint, hint, gorgeous. <laughs> okay, we're putting it in the tray, right? Right, yeah. I'm using it from my tray. I can show you guys the colors if you want to see the colors. Do you want to see the colors? Let me get a brush. Okay. I'll show you the colors. I'm not going to show you the glitter colors because <laughs> I have to go dig for those. But here's color number one. 
pretty, right? Color number two. Oh, fun, hope. Taxes are no fun. Color number three. This is like my favorite right here. It's like the sheerest, prettiest pink with like a purple flash. So pretty. And then look at this one. Oh, and it doesn't even do it justice, the camera. There no, is not so at much. All. This is a purple and it looks blue in the camera, but it's like. um, It looks gray to me. It's so crazy. Yeah, these colors didn't even. Anyways, it's like a purpley color. So there's four colors. Let me see if we can get a better look at them from a distance. That's better, huh, Katie? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I don't, um, I, who, wait, who is that? Yeah, Bex, um, there's Lori is here. She's, um, doing links during the live, Lori Derda. She's our moderator for the live, so she pops in links of the things we use. If, um, you want to see a certain link, just shout it out and Lori if she sees it she can grab you a link if not after the live um usually there's either links posted on it somewhere or I have a master list that Lori made for us of all the links of the things we use so the Yushinin uh this one has been hard for me to find again but it's the blue it's called blooming gel it's actually a five in one it's a blooming gel, builder gel, extension gel. It does a whole bunch of things. So it's basically resin, but UV quick curing resin. You know what I mean? But it's thick. It doesn't take five or six minutes like regular UV resin. All right, so to make the beads, can you see the dome it does? That's why I'm using builder gel. I don't know if you could see that. So we're just doing the beads right now? Yeah, just the beads right now. So you plop it on on the fat spot first, and then you're basically doing a swoosh. So bring it up like a swoosh, like that. Can we see that? Can you see? Can you see me now? And then hit it with your light to keep it there. Otherwise, it'll start spreading. And be careful not to cure the stuff that's in your dish. And this does take a bit longer than top coat. So give it a few seconds, maybe, I don't know, maybe a minute. You don't, Katie and I probably won't hold it there for the whole minute. But if you have a bigger light, you need to pop it in that light. Okay, these handhelds are made for quick things. Check out that glue. <laughs> I don't even have my big light plugged in. Okay, so I'm just going to do it enough to stop it from moving. And then I'm going to put my light there like that while I go over and do this one. But I'm putting, see how I put the light down on the thing so it doesn't, it won't cure my other stuff while I'm over here doing this. And if you have more than one light, that's cool, because then you can do this on several different places. So I'm doing the same thing here. And I'm going to hit it with the light. Oh, that's what's going on. That's my dim light. <laughs> Just be careful not to cure the stuff in your dish like I'm doing. <laughs> Silly me. And then we're going to do this on all the places where we are, where we have the gemstones, right? Hi, 
Hi, Melissa. Long time no see. All right, so I'm going to see if this works. Keep your fingers crossed, you guys. <laughs> Let me find a color. Here's this one, the ruby. All right, so eyeshadow wands work really good for this. Your finger works really good for this. Um, I'm going to use a eyeshadow sponge thing. Maybe. Oh, I think I gave them all away. Ah, okay. So, what to do? Did I save any of them? Those eyeshadow sponges are in the back to the right of your of uh, that little tray. No, by they're the gone. Wall. They're gone. <laughs> they're, they're not, not in, in there? there. No, I might have thrown them away. I don't know. No. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this. It's a sponge. <laughs> oh yeah, that works. That works good. So you basically sponge on, you like want to rub it. You know what I mean? I'm going to use my glove. And that chromes it. Oh, that worked good. It got some red on my rock, but it should just come right off. Pretty. I can take that off with alcohol in a bit. Can you see now it looks like a jewel? Can you see Katie? Um, I don't see it real well. There you go, yeah. Sorry about that. I wish I knew where my other ones were. I don't have red though, so what should I use? Um, do you have the rusty color that you showed me? That's what I just used, the rust. This one? Yeah. I think I'm going to use a little brush this time and see if that will control it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, Katie's on the left. She just figured it out. <laughs> Who? Oh, Melissa. She's like freaked out. Whoa, Katie's on the left. <laughs> That's yeah, hilarious. we were having technical difficulties tonight, so I had to start. Which I'm super duper grateful for. I kind of like it on the right tonight. It used to bother me, but you're not digging it, are you? Oh, I just keep looking at me thinking it's you. not working i it's can't not. see but uh-oh um we'll use a different color maybe a blue or a purple or anything that you think would make a good pretty gem you know I think it's that powder, because look how beautiful this did. The Burano? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You may be, probably, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But how do you get it off of the rock? Um, I used a Q-tip and dry Q-tip first. Dusted off what I could and then some alcohol. Or a micro wand would be really, really good. Micro wand. Where are those? I remember putting those somewhere, but. They're in your get... makeup holder. The micro wand? Yeah. Hmm. These ones, right? Yeah, I don't see them anywhere. Are they in a drawer, though? Mm -mm. Oh, wait, there's another door. No, they're, they're not there either. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so lost. I'll, uh, I'll, help, I'll help you find them on Sunday. Yay. There's Mida. Mida. I was talking to you earlier and you were gone. Hi, Helen. Hello. Okay, it's sort of clean, good enough for now. That's pretty. Hold it up so I can see it. Hold on, I gotta fix a little piece first. Because when I was alcoholing. Yeah, the sanding blocks will take it off too. I forgot about that. But we got to. Ooh. Helen's resin. Oh, gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> now, what did you just. What? Where are you at? Are you on these dills? Yeah, I'm just doing. I did okay. this middle one, the big one. In the middle here. And you're doing the same color? Yeah, I'm doing them all red. Yep. Or you can do all purple, whatever color you went with. I think that was purple, yeah. right? Yeah. Hi, Deborah Hackman. Hello. This is so cool, you guys, look. Yep. Because of the way the light catches it, you don't even have to put any highlights on there. Look at that. That's why I love Builder Gel. See it? The highlights? Good night, Tammy. You see the highlights, Katie? Yeah. 
they do it themselves so you don't need to paint it there that's why we're doing this part too with builder gel but we're going to do it with a sheer um top now i can't find those i'm all clap on <laughs> clap off <laughs> i need an easy button night tammy yeah this one's well we're cruising right along i was gonna say this is gonna be a long one but we are more than halfway done i was thinking about foiling these parts with the chrome but yeah i think we still should haunt to give it the design yeah i just don't know if we're gonna have time what time is it? I don't know. That's why I'm saying I'm not sure. Okay. I'm moving a little slower than you. How many people are with us tonight? 43 right now, it looks like. Nice. Mine still says 18. It's lying to me. Well, uh, it's we need a central time, Jenny. What are you? Jennifer White is straight up above us, I believe. Okay, it's nine ten. She said, "Sweet." Wow, it's almost been two. Hours. Well, we got a late start. We were almost thirty minutes <laughs> later. Thank you guys, y'all rock. Just saw them. Sorry, didn't mean to bump it. Here we go. These are sanding blocks, and if you guys buy stuff and you want these, I can put them in there. You know, not you don't have to buy to get them, but I'm um, if you want one of those, you know how you got the free brush. Um we ran out of the free brushes, so this time, if you would like some of these, just let me know. I could pop it in your order. They are super. I love them. <laughs> yes. They're awesome little sanders, and they are tough. You know what I mean? They're like, they're on it. You can get the little corners just anywhere. Yes, they are, Phyllis. They are bad to the bone. All right, let's move on. Wait, I'm not done. Okay. Are you moving sorry. on without me? No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Man, there's nothing worse than having a hot flash with sweaty gloves on. Oh, my gosh. I just want to rip them off. Um, I just have one, uh, a couple more jewels to do, and then we can move on, and I can clean it up later. Oh, I found another place I want to do this on. <laughs> Sorry. The buckle. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to do the buckle with silver.
and then this thing down here, the little end thing. Oh, I guess we have some more. Yeah, we've got the strap, the side strappy and. Hmm. Yes, Karen, the big block one I love too so much. I wouldn't let Katie throw it away. <laughs> the block sander. I have a block sander too, but I tend to use these little ones more. Now, yeah, I was solely block sanding, but now I'm loving, loving. Okay, I want you guys to see this up close. Okay, see the buckle and the tail of the strap? They're hollow yeah. silver, and you can't see it because the builder gel, see how it makes things like a buff matte kind of look? Yeah. Now, top coat changes that. Top coat things things get we go chrome with top coat So we're doing silver over the buckle, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think of what foil to use. Got any ideas? Well, originally you said a black lace. I'm not sure if you want to stick to that or... Do something else. What, do you, what do you think we should do? Um, gosh, I don't know. Did you just do the point on that tail or did you go up the? No, I just did the point and the buckle. What about up here on this strap? Did you do anything? No. Okay. Black lace would be very cool. That's what they're saying. Um, while you're working on those spots, I'm going to run and grab a few strips of lace to check out, okay? Off Monte. <laughs> oh, actually, I forgot I have my foils at the top here. <laughs> if you're wondering what Monte is, Monte's are foil. What would you call that? <laughs> Our foil monster. <laughs> so we call it Monty. It's like a foil tree. <laughs> it holds um, almost 500 rolls of foil. Ooh, do you have this set, Katie? Uh, yeah. Because there's like a whole bunch of ones in here that we could find. Look at that one right there. Yeah. There's that one. Or we could do, obviously, a black or a white lace. And these are not Wanda foil. I do have some of these, but they're not mine in this kit thing. In the box? Yeah. Hmm. 
Here's some black lace. I'm just grabbing black lace to look at. That's a small set. Ooh, you know what I just thought about? The Victorian lace set we have. Oh my gosh, this set, you know, the Victorian lace? Uh -huh. The peacock, wouldn't that be pretty? The peacock feathers, oh my gosh. Look at this. This is peacock, right? Peacock feathers. Uh huh. Those would be pretty, kind of. Look at, see around that. Yeah. See, like up in here. Look at that design right there. On the peacock feather. See, it's the same design. Yeah. That's right there. I'll play around with it. It's just going to be awesome, you guys. Mm, this is what foil is all about. <laughs> mm, Patty says, Katie, do... Also, Katie, we have this one. See this pretty one? Now, which set is that in? That's from this... Let me turn it over. And they all just fell out. <laughs> it's like that multi-holographic... This yes. One? Yes. Yeah, it's this one right here. I'm trying to see what you're. This one? Yep. That's it. Do you think it's just going to blend in with everything? It might. We could do black. Do we have anything that's black holographic? Mm, not really. Let's see, black lace. That would be pretty, huh? <laughs> yeah, we both went for the same one. <laughs> I would worry, though, is it going to cover it up too much because of the netting? Mm, probably. It's a conundrum. Here's some with we, wide netting. Like, see the we wide? We could go pop star. <laughs> right? Oh, well, that'd be, that's an idea. All right, let's get the chrome on here, and then we'll see what it looks like with some foil over it. Ooh, was that stars? What was that? Oh, those are the ones. Yeah, that disappears. Got it. That's pretty enough. All right, top coat. Or some roses. You can't really tell they're roses, though. Or black oh mess. Ooh la la. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I'm going to quit pulling all my foils out because I'm making a mess. My top coat has 
a tint to it. I must have entered something in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I know, right? So you don't need a whole bunch of top coat, by the way. Just a thin, you know. Mine is, too. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Is yours this? Jelixer? Yes. Okay, maybe there's a shelf life there, too. Or maybe it has a UV filter in it, right? Because it's a top coat. UV so you're filter putting this all on, all on the silver? Yes. And I'm going to do this in sections. So I'm going to go like down to this point right here. Like this skinny spot right here where it won't yeah. make a big difference. Top coat cures pretty fast, so you want to give it a second to level out. Otherwise, you'll have dips and craters, you know. Or get your torch in there and warm it up. Move your stuff out of the way. With your light. Yeah, mine spilled everywhere. Oh well. Let's see if this works. Yeah, baby. See there? Look at that hollow. You guys see it? Mm-hmm. Gotta love you some Burano, right? Yep. Definitely Night have Teresa. to redo the, redo the lining, but yay. So I don't know how far along we're going to get in here. I'm going to touch this up and show you guys. Oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Be careful around the the jewels, Katie, because I just painted mine, or I just buffed mine silver. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Shoot. I was hoping that we would, it's either direction. If we do that, the red would get on the silver or the silver, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess it's easier to make the red red again than it is to make the silver silver again you know what I mean
the reason I showed the liner just now is because even if it looks weird, you can reline it and it'll bring it back, you know? Hey, Sarah. Hey, Christy. Good night. Have a good weekend. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> the butane lids. You mean the Burano? These? I don't think so. No, they're not very expensive. The well, here they're not. Um for those it was like under $20 I think for the whole set. What, did she lose her lid? I don't know.
Oh, pretty Katie. Don't you just love hollow? <laughs> I have some bubbles. I didn't use my torch and I got bubbles. It's okay. It gives texture. Besides, you can cover it up if we foil. Yeah, but um, I'm kind of fading a little bit here. I think I'm going to have to quit. Like now? Okay. Yeah. You you can keep going if you want to finish. Um, I can't. I, You're hosting. Oh, that's right. That's okay. No I worries. Forgot. All right, guys. Two part. Sorry. Um, no worries, Katie. No worries. Not at all. Um, so I don't know when we're going to be back to finish this, but we will be back to finish this. Well, Sorry, since we guys. don't have a Wednesday, since we don't have a Wednesday workshop, maybe we could do it Wednesday. Yeah. You want to do that? All right. So we shall see you on Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good night.